One might have it. Got one. Dude, giant orange one. Holy buckets. All right, guys, today I'm fishing a pond with a giant wild goldfish. It's super windy, but it's a beautiful spring day, and I'm actually able to see them. So what happens here is people release their pet goldfish that they don't want anymore into these ponds, and the goldfish have unlimited food, so they can just grow to giant sizes. I believe there's a state record living in this pond right here. I've caught ones that are 17 inches long, like wild, true goldfish. I'm gonna show you guys they're not koi, they're real goldfish. And the biggest one that's been caught in MN by the DNR is 18 inches. So if I catch one over 18 inches today, we're looking at a state record, a state record goldfish. So that would be insane if we can make that happen. But I got bread as bait today, and we're gonna be using that and try to sight fish some. Here's our little ball right there. That should do on this little micro hook. Six pound test, little split shot there to keep it down. And I'm gonna go, go find them and see if I can catch one. All right guys, so I got my polarized glasses on right now. And right in front of me, I can see about five or six of them sitting right here they probably aren't going to pick up on camera i don't even think they'll pick up with the glasses on but you can see if they're about uh two feet under the water two feet under the water surface big orange blobs and some of them have white tails you can just see them all swimming across here so i'm gonna go grab my bait see if i can catch some fish okay i see a couple of them on the bread ball it's on the bottom right now there's like two orange ones and i think there is actually a brown one which i'm going to talk about in a second but they're all on the bread ball right now or in the area of it so i don't even know if it's going to eat it or not but it's hard to tell with the wind the wind's the problem one might have it got one yep got one why is he coming in like a dead sock oh my gosh okay guys so this is actually one of the brown ones that i'm talking about um oh no way we just caught a brown one the first cast this is my first brown one ever but he's still got orange on him as you can see but look at that so this is a brown goldfish goldfish actually lose their color through generations in this pond is what i've seen there's twice as many brown ones as there are orange ones because after generations of breeding they lose their orange color living out in the wild hooks out okay so that is an orange goldfish i'm going to show you guys show this to the camera real quick there he is a brown goldfish dude <sighs> look at that thing he's still got some orange on his chin actually but oh well that actually didn't take that long it's only been like 25 minutes since I started casting around, but the orange ones are super easy to see. They like stick out just like a, like a, I don't even know, like a rock on a blank piece of paper. The cool thing about this specific neighborhood pond is that there's white ones, there's brown ones, there's orange ones, there's red ones, all the different colors. I caught a really red one last time, which was really cool, but um, there's not as many as they're in here today. Like there's usually, like sometimes you can come here, there's 50, 50 goldfish in this little bay right behind me. Um, there's probably about 20 of them in here right now. You guys want to catch some of these wild goldfish all you need to do is know of a pond that has them i don't know of any very many i know of three that have goldfish of this caliber so you guys should, just got to find a pond use a small bread ball like i've been doing today and pretty much follow all the steps you're going to catch one they're pretty easy to catch honestly i do need to say though never release your goldfish into the wild they can be super destructive to the native uh, ecosystems they can eat all the eggs of the other native fish like bass and stuff but the thing i've seen on this pond is that the bass actually eat the goldfish from the babies i've actually seen them happen I've seen that happen before so never release your goldfish into the wild because they can get to massive sizes like the ones i'm catching right now but if you do have them in a pond already this size go out and catch them this is also just the beginning of the goldfish season they start coming in even crazier in the next two months here so if you guys do want to see more goldfish content see if i can catch a state record if i don't get one today uh, drop a like below and i'll come back because this is it's going to be way way better than this there's one near my bread right now he's on the bottom he's going over towards it right now so i don't know if he has it or not he just swam past he might have ate it got him got one it's a big orange one yes yeah oh dude giant orange one this is my uh second i got a brown one too now this one's orange sweet dude look at that big old fat wild goldfish get this hook out real quick and i'll show them to you guys holy buckets look at the girth just an absolute fatty right there that is what we were after today a monster true goldfish let me show you the, the face here no barbels this is what you would buy at PetSmart right here is 
No, it was just the goldfish when they're in here for like a certain amount of time, after like like breeding through generations, they turn they lose all their orange color. Oh yeah, probably like that. Like you just did a random number, right? Yep. Yeah. But there's like uh there's probably twice as many brown ones as there's orange. I'm trying to find the school of them, I don't know where they went. gonna wrap it up for this video of goldfish fishing if you guys did enjoy please drop a like below hopefully you learned something new about goldfish how to catch them something at least if you did enjoy it i have another video on my channel of goldfish fishing actually two other videos and i'm gonna film more this uh coming spring because it's only gonna get better can't wait to hopefully get a pb or hopefully get a state record and uh subscribe if you guys aren't already and i will uh see you guys on the next one